Hey guys, Vaughn here. So today on the Retro Review, we're going to take a look at Bushido Blade as played on the hacked PlayStation Classic. Right, we're just going to go ahead, start up our auto bleam, head over to Bushido Blade, and I want to make sure I've got all the game parameters set, which I do. Let's go ahead and begin. Now, Bushido Blade is a nostalgic title for me in particular because this is the very first PlayStation game I owned. I got my PlayStation late, I'm sorry, in the summer of 98, just after school ended. Uh, it was kind of a reward for getting through a school year in a new city, new town rather. And uh, here, let's just go ahead and go to the menu. And I got a PlayStation. I had a... Nintendo 64 the previous summer, uh, where there's a story mode slash POV. We're going to take a look at much of that. Let's go ahead and start with story. And I picked up my PlayStation at Walmart with Bushido Blade. And for a few months, really, that was like the only games I had. Um, I think this guy's the best because he has a projectile. It's been 20 years since I've played this game. Um, I'm going to struggle. I think you you can give anybody any weapon you want, which is pretty unique. And in the story mode, everybody has a different reason for being on this island. They, they live by the Bushido way of samurai code of honor stuff. In fact, the ending for this guy, not so good. We'll see if I get there tonight. Uh, yeah, shit, we're going to go ahead and skip this. Starting to wonder if I could skip it or not. Blinded by the light. So, oh boy, we're just no announcer, none of that shit. All right, they got a block. You can change stances, which is pretty sweet. Uh, the two most interesting things about this game in particular. One hit kills in a fighting game. It's about getting position. And so it's it doesn't come across as your typical 3D fighter. For another reason, total open world. You can, if I can remember how to run. Oh, no, 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 no. That bitch. I'm in capped. Nope. I can still, here. We can, we can run anywhere. And it will actually load another arena for us. Modern fighting games don't have this. All right, so I'm going to go through here. Lead her to the next area, of course. To, oh shit! Can I can I walk? Can I walk? Can I walk? Am I in capped? Oh! Glory! Got a nice little replay. The graphics are really not bad for a PlayStation game. Yeah, I know it's blocky, but um, PlayStation. All right, so we're in the new area. We see the snowfall, and there's so many cool places you can go. Um, but if you just fight everybody in the arena that you, you, you start the battle in, you'll... See, there's really not a lot to it. Uh, it's just, is somebody open? Are you ready to slice them up? Oh, I've got a head wound. I don't want to kill women. Well, you just did, pal. Me too. See if I can uh, change the stance up a little here. There we go. <laughs> Shit. Oh boy. Fancy ninja shit right there, huh? Why did you try to kill me? Well, you might want to ask that before you kill them. You know, come to think about it, the boss fights in this can't be too terrible. I mean, if everything's a one hit kill. Now, when you're on the ground, you have a projectile you can throw. Oh, yeah, I threw, threw the knife. <laughs> yeah. Suck it, Gambit. Damn, it's like I didn't lose a beat. Master. Oh, now... You know, maybe you should set up some of the story before you fight them. Usually, you know, like... 
somebody jumps in, oh, you can't you defeat me. Well, I'm the best. This, it's like after the fact. Seeing a lot of white screen. Oh, you got a hammer. You bringing a hammer to a katana fight, buddy? Look at that. I'm taking damage, and it's being retained. Uh, though I can walk. This is it. He's a blocky son of a bitch. A lot of people complained about the one-hit kill stuff in this, and I think that in Shooter Blade 2, they changed that around, and then it was kind of like the death of the franchise. It's not a franchise that's been continuing. I think it could have some some legs on it, you know? I don't care who comes against me. Well, you look like you care, buddy. Ah, yes, the bamboo. I guess we need to run through it. Down the well, that looks dangerous. Oh, okay, so we're doing a little setup here. I'm gonna try to block. Try to just bash. Ah, it's like Highlander. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to run towards him. Oh boy, that looks uncoordinated. Oh, that's dangerous. I can see it. Come on, come on. Ugh, what'd you even slice me with? Shit. Yeah, we're gonna rematch, even though I'm dead. Here, I'm just gonna strike you now, bitch. Oh, that should have done him. Lena done him. Oh, did you hurt yourself, pal? Come on, stand up like a man. Oh, I got him. Got him some more. It's kind of a fatality. Yeah, you don't really auto-lock onto people when you're running, so things get a little weird. A more modern combat system, I mean, I could see it working out much better. None are more contemptible than those who defile away Bushido. Did I defile it? I, I don't remember this happening. Did I get a bad ending? I killed him while he was on the ground? Is that... You gonna let me push some buttons? What the shit? Okay, well, um, I guess we're gonna go ahead and look at POV mode next. Another exciting little thing they added to this game. You see a lot of POV fighting games? No, you don't. So, uh, let's see, let's, let's pick this guy. I think, the, isn't he the hammer guy? I think I can switch weapons if I want to. What do you want to go up against? This little brat. Uh, no, let's go with this. That way we have something nice long to look at. See if I can survive a POV fight. And I think I can pick uh, my arena here, and we're going to go to the bamboo thicket because you can chop down the bamboo. Okay, let's... Whoa, 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 whoa. How do I climb? How do I climb? How do I climb? I, I want to go up there, buddy. Right. You can kind of see me in the corner there. I'm on the ground. And evidently I died. Okay, can we be by the bamboo so I can show the audience me chopping the shit down? Oh, here we go. Oh, look! He cut it! That was so mind-blowing back in the day. Okay, I know that was anticlimactic as all shit, but you saw him slice that, right? And the replay doesn't show it. Memory issues. It's already on the ground. But you saw it, right?
Oh, I've stuck the I've stuck the pole in him and it's still killing him. <laughs> Shit. Lastly, I'd like us to take a look at Slash Mode, which is kind of an endless battle. It has great music playing in it. I think you guys are gonna dig this. Uh, let's be the trusty uh, Black Lotus. Katana, sure. Now I'm just gonna fight some faceless goons in a hallway. Oh, he wants to run. And I can't lock on. Swamakasita. Oh, you're getting it now, pal. I'm off to a decent start for having played in 20 years. I think I could get to like, I think it goes to 100, I could get to like 80 back in the day. These guys have uh, lack of belly protection. <laughs> nice. Shit. All right, well, let's just go ahead and wrap it up over there. Bushido Blade is a lot of fun for even two people. You can play it solo. There's a lot of different modes in here. There's more exploration than you get out of a typical 3D fighter of the time. And yes, I realize the bouts are short, but even something like Tekken... Uh, Virtua Fighter, the 3D fighters of the day were fairly clunky by today's standards anyways. I, I mean, it's okay for something to be short and precise as far as the battles go. And it was really cool having interactive arenas in a time before it was really a thing. I give Bushido Blade on the PlayStation an 8.7 out of 10. And now the screen had to go black in front of me, so I'd look awkward.